welcome to our new project, The Daily Label. What we're going to do is try and, on a daily basis, look at a food item and look at its label and see what the ingredients tell us about that food item. And then we're going to decide whether we're going to eat or not eat it, aren't we? Okay, and our item today is the Twix Chocolate Bars 9. A pack of nine, okay. Yeah, a pack of nine. Mm -hmm. so That's what it looks like. So, um, what's interesting about this one is that often on products, on the front, we have what's called a traffic light system. So it shows us what's in there in terms of red are things that maybe it's got a little bit too much of. Um, orange is not so bad and green, you should be quite happy to eat it. But this one doesn't have it. So already we're a little bit worried about it. We know that Twix is probably not the most healthiest food, but let's have a look at some of the ingredients inside. So what's the most, um, what's the most prevalent ingredient? What's it got most of? It's got most of sugar, so I wouldn't say you would like to eat it unless you like sugar. <laughs> well, I think everybody likes sugar, don't they? They like sweet things. <laughs> yeah? So sugar is the number one ingredient. Then what's the next ingredient? The most ingredient. Yeah. The next goes glucose syrup, which is absolutely basically the same. It's sugar, sugar. So sugar and sugar. Yeah. Are the two, basically. Are the two most yeah. important ingredients yeah. here. Okay, interesting. Then we've got wheat flour. Now we know that wheat flour is not necessarily bad for you, but you should really have whole wheat yeah. if you're going to have any wheat. Because the whole wheat, the flour is not that healthy. We have whole wheat flour is the best flour. Wheat flour, not that good. Do you know the next ingredient is palm fat? Do you know what that is? I know it comes from Malaysia and India. Oh, very good. Mm, that's more than I know. But yeah, palm fat um, is from palm oil, which comes from the palm tree. Um, now, it is a natural fat, but it's really um, a saturated fat. So you probably want to try and avoid that. Um, if you're trying to get some healthy fats in you, you don't really want saturated fat. Then we've got cocoa, cocoa butter. butter. Okay. But cocoa butter is actually quite good for you. Um, cocoa butter is quite good for you. Yeah. Then we've got yeah. skim condensed milk, cocoa mass, skimmed milk powder, lactose, milk fat, whey powder from milk. So there's a lot of milk here. And you, it's not very good to drink a lot of milk. Okay, then we've got fat reduced cocoa, salt, an emulsifier, soya lecithin emulsifier. Now I know what that is. Who okay, well, doesn't? <laughs> yeah, because I did a bit of research. Because <laughs> soya lecithin is actually on a lot of products. When you look at a lot of products, you'll see that they've got soya lecithin in them, and it's an emulsifier. And what an emulsifier does is actually just help to bind everything together, to stick everything together. So all these bits of the bar stick together quite nicely because you've got soya lecithin in it. It's naturally derived, so it comes from soya beans. Um, so there's actually nothing wrong with it. The only thing is it often comes from oil. So if you're the kind of person that wants to not really have any refined oils in your diet, then you probably want to think about reducing the number of things that you eat which has soya, which have soya lecithin in them. Then we've got raising agent E500. Now the thing about raising agents um, is obviously you think about bicarbonate of soda or baking soda and E500 is actually one of those, isn't it? Yes, um, and the last thing, which is in our main thing, uh, in our main ingredients, is natural vanilla extract. Now, vanilla extract is quite good for you, so I would say that it's quite good for you. So, we would now decide, we like this product, we don't like it. So it's an we eat, eat or not it's eat. It's an eat or not eat. What so what do you think? I think for me, um, given it's got so much sugar in, um, so much milk, and a, quite a lot of fat, um, I think you might have one really very very occasionally. One yeah. But for me, this is a not eat. Okay, I think. Oh, it looks very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, look how delicious it looks on the front. Generally. Are you sure you're gonna? Okay, go on. Generally, you can eat it once every two years. Once every two years? 
That's what I would do. Um, you think? It's your opinion, but that's what I would do. And I think it's not eat. Thank you very much for watching. Today's food is a not eat. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's Daily Label. If you like what you see, subscribe. And uh, also tell us what you think about this. Mm -hmm. Would you eat it or not eat it? Tell us in the <laughs> comments below. Thank, Thank you. you. See you tomorrow. Bye.